Hi guys, it's me Terry of the Yarn Joy podcast. Welcome back to another tutorial. This was going to be part three of the baby educational ball toy. This is a pattern by Patricia Heller. Thank you Patricia for giving me permission to do a tutorial on your awesome pattern. Okay, so for today's tutorial I'm going to do the Sun it's just the next one that's in the pattern I'm just kind of going in order with the pattern and I'm going to be using this panel with the blue background okay and all we need for the Sun it's gonna have some pullable strings on it and I'm going to use the yellow that I use for one of my panels this I'm, I'm using a DK weight yarn this is actually a lion brand bonbon is what this is but I'm going to be using that uh, for my son but then I'm thinking for the pullable strings that's going to be coming that are going to be like behind the Sun I'm going to use this worsted weight bright yellow I think it's uh, red heart I can't remember the, the color of it but it's just a bright yellow I'm going to be using that because the pull strings will end up being a little thicker and um, easier I think for baby to grab a hold of I think maybe anyway that's what that's the, my plan <laughs> okay so so you'll need your your yarn for your son and then of course one of your completed panels I'm using a 3.0 millimeter hook because I'm using a, a DK or very small yarn I think it's a number three weight yarn um, a yarn needle to weave in your ends and of course uh, some scissors okay okay and I think that is it so let's just get started with it okay so this should be a pretty quick pattern there's uh, let's see there's seven rounds and we're gonna start off with a magic ring you could also chain two and then work in the second chain from the hook uh, and, and do it that way if you want to but we're gonna be putting six single crochets into that magic ring for our first round okay so let's move this out of the way six single crochets one two three four five and six okay and then we're going to pull on our uh, beginning tail to uh, tighten up our ring okay oh and you will need I'm sorry you will need a um, stitch marker to mark the beginning of the rounds okay I usually do the first couple of rounds without a stitch marker I just count my stitches so we have six single crochets in this first round this is that was round one in round two we're just going to continue on we're working in spirals and we're going to do two single crochets in each stitch around okay so if you have six in your beginning round then in if you put two in each round uh, in each stitch around you're going to end up with a stitch count of 12 okay so one and two three four five and six oops six seven and eight nine and ten and then eleven whoops dropped a stitch <laughs> eleven and twelve okay so I'm um, now I am back to the beginning and that is all of round two you should have a stitch count of twelve okay going on to round three we're going to do uh, we're going to start our sequences and the first one it's we're going to do for the, the one we're going to do for this round is two single crochets in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next stitch and we're going to do that all the way around so continuing on we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch one and two 
you can go ahead and start using your marker if you want to. Um, I just made two stitches there, so I'm going to make sure I put my marker into the first stitch of that round. Okay. Okay. So that was two single crochets in the first stitch, and now we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. Okay. And then we're just going to repeat that sequence. So two single crochets, one and two, and then one single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and one single crochet in the next stitch. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing that, this sequence, and, and then I will meet you back when I get to the end of this round, okay? Okay, so I got back to the beginning of the round, and so now at the end, and that was uh, round three, and so the end of round three, you should have 18 stitches all the way around your piece, okay? So going on to round four, I'm going to remove my marker so I can uh, move it to the first stitch. So round four says two single crochets in the next stitch, and then two single crochets, which is one single crochet in each of the next two stitches okay so two single crochets in the in the first stitch of the round so one and two the same in the same stitch go ahead and place your marker into the first stitch that first one of those two that we just made okay so we did one and two to, in that first stitch now we're going to do one single crochet in the next two stitches so one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch okay and then we're going to repeat that sequence so two single crochets one and two and then one single crochet in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the next stitch okay so we're going to repeat that sequence all the way around and i will meet you when i get back to the beginning okay okay so i've got back to the beginning and now at the end of this round, which is round four, we should have 24 stitches around our piece, okay? So going on to round five, we're going to remove our marker, and we're going to do this sequence in round five. Two single crochets in the next stitch, and then one single crochet each in the next three stitches, okay? So we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch, one and two both in the same stitch and then we're going to put our replace our marker and put it in the first of those two stitches that we just made okay so we did two stitches in that first stitch and then we're going to do one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet in the next stitch and then one single crochet in the next stitch for a total of three stitches. We did that three times, okay? And then we're gonna repeat that sequence around. So two single crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then, whoops, split a stitch there. Let me do that one again. <laughs> so we did two single crochets. So that's the first one. Let me get my second one in there. Okay, one and two. Okay, and then we're going to do one single crochet in the next three stitches. So one in this next stitch, one in the next stitch, and then one in the next stitch. So three times. Okay, so now we're going to repeat that sequence all the way around, and I will meet you when we get at the end. Okay, so I'm at the end of round five. I got back to the beginning, and now we should have a stitch count of 30 stitches all the way around, okay? Going on to the next round, which is round six. Remove my marker, and we're gonna put, uh, for this sec the sequence for round six, we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch, and then one single crochet each in the next four stitches. Okay, so we're going to do two single crochets in the first one, so one and two. Okay, put our marker in the first of those two stitches that we just did. Okay, now I'm going to do one single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, three, and four. So one each in the next four stitches, okay? And now we're gonna repeat that sequence. So two single crochets in the next stitch, okay? And then one single crochet in the next four stitches. So one, two, 
3, and 4. Okay, and then we're going to repeat that sequence all the way around. So I will meet you at the end. Okay, so I just finished round six. We should now have a stitch count of 36 stitches all the way around. Now we have one more round to go and we will be finished with our circle part of our sun. Okay, so around seven, we're going to do two single crochets in the first stitch, so one and two. And then we're gonna put our marker back into the first stitch of those two that we made to mark our first stitch. And now we're going to do one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five, okay? And then repeating our sequence, we're going to do two single crochets in the first, the next stitch, one and two, and then we're going to do one single crochet in the next five stitches. So that was one, two, three, four, five, okay? And then we're gonna repeat that sequence once again. We're gonna repeat that sequence all the way around and I will meet you at the end, okay? Okay, so I just finished round seven. We should now have 42 stitches all the way around our sun, okay? So now we're going to, fi we're finished with this, so I'm going to fasten off, and but you want to leave a, a long tail to be able to stitch your sun onto your uh, panel, okay? So I like to just loop my uh, thread and my yarn loosely like a big circle around my piece okay and then give me a few couple of more inches there and then cut it off okay now I'm going to take my marker out I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch of my piece okay just a slip stitch and then I'm just gonna pull it all the way through okay okay so now I am finished with my sun, it's gonna go right there in the center of our panel, okay? But now I'm going to go ahead and work on the pullable strings or the rays of the sun. It says to make three of them, and so I'm gonna use my worsted weight yarn here. I think this is gonna work. <laughs> uh, let's see, I'm gonna leave a tail at the beginning a little bit because I'm going to have to knot each end, okay? So it just says to crochet three strings that are about 20 chains and then knot both ends, okay? So I'm going to leave a little bit of a tail there so that I'll have plenty of room to play with my knot at the end. <laughs> and then I'm going to just join my yarn onto my hook with a slip knot. And then I'm gonna chain, well, I'm gonna go ahead and chain 20, but I'm thinking that I'm not gonna need that much because I'm using worsted weight yarn, and you just want to chain enough that it will fit, you know, from one side of your panel to the other, just in the colored part, okay? So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, so there's 20. Let's Now I'm gonna lay it down here and see what I think as far as the pull string, if it needs to be more or less. Um, let's see. It's gonna be going underneath the sun, so you can pull it either direction. Actually, I think since I'm using such a small hook, I think I'm gonna go ahead and chain some more. So that was 20. How about 25? 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Let's try that one. Now that is a little bit long, looks like, so I'm going to take out a couple. Let's see. 1, 2, 3. So that would end up me chaining 22. Let's see if that looks right. So anyway, you just kind of measured up to your panel and see if it's long enough that you'll have enough uh, some string hanging I think that'll be okay actually I think maybe let's see that was 22 let's let's go to 24 I think I do like it longer 
Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Okay, so I chained 24. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut off my yarn here to, to fasten off, but I want to leave it, you know, several inches there. Uh, I'm sure I'll trim it again um, to figure out my knot, <laughs> okay? So let's see. Actually, I'm just going to pull my yarn through there. Okay. So there is my pull string, and then it says to make a knot at the end. Let's see if this will work. And then, see, it's I'm trying to get it where it will stop at the end of the chain, so I kind of pull it down as I'm tightening it, so that way the knot will uh, be where I want it to be. And of course, that made a very small knot, so I may have to do this several times. Just pull it down where it'll be on top of that, the last knot that you made. Yeah, I definitely need to make some more knots here. <laughs> Just while it's still loose, just pull it down over the top of of your knot, so that way when it knots up firmly, it'll be on t where you it'll be where you're wanting it. Okay, it's getting there. like you have to make several of them to make it big enough. Probably an easier way to make a knot. <laughs> okay. We'll see if that works. May end up making some more. Let's see. So and then I need to work on the, do knots at the other end. I think I lost track of how many knots that I made. So I'll just start making a bunch of knots. <laughs> okay. So that's five. I counted that one. <laughs> okay. So I may play with that a little bit better. But anyway, that's basically how you do it. And you're, so you're going to make three of those. Okay, so I got to remember I chained 24 <laughs> and then uh, let me make my other two and then I will come back and then we will put these together. Okay. Okay, so I got my three uh, sun rays here and I'm going, I uh, went ahead and weaved in my tails, but let me go ahead and do this one on camera. My tail ends after I made my knot. I just uh, yarn up my needle with my tail end and then I just kind of weave in and out um, into that chain that I made with my yarn uh, end just like that okay looks like that one's kind of short so I'll go ahead and do it a little bit longer a little bit further down the chain just like that I just kind of weave in like I'm just, um, I'm just hiding my tail. <laughs> okay, just like that. Okay, now take my scissors and I trim that short. Trim it close to where it's coming out. Okay. So now I have my three um, sun rays here ready to go. Let me trim these again a little bit. Okay. So now I'm going to take the panel and I'm going to um, go ahead and I'm going to um, trim this starting tail a little bit short so that it will be out of my way. Now I'm going to yarn up my needle with the, um, the yellow, the ending tail that we had. Okay. And then I'm going to... make sure that my 
yarn is coming out from the bottom so I need to go ahead and stitch through to the back of that sun there okay put it on the center of your panel okay and then I'm going to start stitching down uh, stitching it down into onto my panel remember the back you won't be able to see the threads in the back so it really doesn't matter what the tails are looking like in the back <laughs> And then I'm so I'm just going to go in and out the stitches along the edge of the sun, and I'll just do that in a couple, a few spaces here, and then I'm going to start putting those sun rays in there. Okay. Okay. So now the sun rays are going to go underneath the sun going from different, uh, you know, like three different directions, so like a cross, okay? And so you're wanting to sew, you're going to want to sew on either side of that string, but you want the string to remain, um, you know, you don't want to catch those when you're, when you're, um, when you're making your, uh, when you're stitching over it. I'm wondering if that knot is going to be big enough that it won't pull through. I hope not. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's that's what you're aiming on doing. So you could actually, if you have some pins, you could pin pin them in there. Like that. And then I have one more I need to put on there, under there somewhere. Let's see. Just try to space them away from each other, like that. Yeah, something like that. And then I do have some pins here within reach. I could go ahead, you could go ahead and pin down through those to kind of hold them in place, like that. Okay. And then you start, you continue your stitching around, but you want to make sure that you stitch over these and not through those rays actually you could do it from behind so I go down into my stitch to the back side through the panel okay and then when I come up I'm going to come up on the other side of that sun ray just make sure that you do not stitch through it that it's still free to move uh, one way or the other um, back and uh, you know in and out uh, in and out <laughs> slide it <laughs> can still slide it that's the word <laughs> okay and then so all now I'm going to continue on around my sun stitching them down and then when I get to the next sun ray I'm, I'm going to do the same thing I go around the back side see how they have that longer stitch right there uh, around the back side of where the ray is just make sure that you don't catch it with your needle um uh, in your stitches hope that makes sense <laughs> okay and so now I'm going to go around this one in the back making sure I don't catch it okay just like that and then once you get the three ends secured on one side you can probably take the pin out um, Of course, you want to look at it every once in a while to make sure your sun is not shifting out of the um, middle of that panel also. Okay, so now I've come to the third one. I'm going to go around the back side, making sure that I do not um, stitch into that sun ray. Okay. And then you continue, uh, yeah, can, then you continue on, okay? So I've got my three down. I think I'm going to go ahead and take that uh, pin out and just give it a little tug. See, it is pulling, looks like, so I think it's going to be good. <laughs> it's, yeah, all three of them are sliding, so that's good. Okay, so I'm going to continue doing that, 
and I will meet you up when I get to the the uh, back to the beginning okay okay so I finished stitching around my son getting it onto the panel and I've got the rays there and they will pull it I would I can pull them freely from you know from in and out so I know that they're not I didn't catch them when I'm I sewed them down okay so now all I'm gonna do is I already took my yarn needle off my yarn end here and I'm just going to tie uh, tie a knot it to one of the tails that were back here in the back here already <laughs> and then trim it off short and like I said all of this will be hidden inside the ball when we're stuffing him so okay so there is panel number two of our baby educational ball <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, crocheting or along with me and stay tuned for panel number three in just a few days thanks guys have a great weekend and we will see you in the next video bye